Blessings and peace to you, my brothers and sisters. This is Father Michael, along with the rest of the team, as we're celebrating today the feasts of Saints Anne and Joachim, the parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Their love for her enabled her to have the love and sacrifice to bring about Jesus, our Savior. So we give thanks and ask for their intercession today on this beautiful feast. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 45 My friend, my heart is full of joy today. You, my dear friend, are the source of this joy. You touched me with love and awakened my sleeping heart to the beauty and fragrance of life around me. God reached out through your friendship and concern to kindle a new fire within me, to fan embers into flames of light and faith. You marched into my jungle of despair and made a path for me to walk on once more. I am so very grateful to God and to you. I pray that God may use me as he has so abundantly used you to transmit joy to the joyless and kindness where it was needed most. And I pray that God may bless you and keep you and use you forever. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 36 to 39. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom, the weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Today, the church honors Saints Anne and Joachim, the parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the grandparents of Jesus. Today also happens to be my wife's and my wedding anniversary. We were engaged to be married on the eve of the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, and therefore wanted to intentionally choose a date that would honor the Blessed Virgin Mary in some way. My wife and I look to Saints Anne and Joachim as models of obedience to God's will of courage in taking up the responsibilities of family life, and of faithfulness in transmitting the truths of God's teachings to their family. As Jesus emphasizes in the gospel passage for today, those who sow good seeds are children of the kingdom, but those who sow weeds are children of the evil one. So, whose spiritual children do we choose to be? Through their faith 
and through their witness, Saints Anne and Joachim chose to be children of the kingdom. They sowed good fruit. They passed on the faith to the young Blessed Virgin Mary. While Mary was immaculately conceived in St. Anne's womb through God's grace, she still needed instruction in the teachings of the Lord and in prayer. Her parents provided this instruction. Pope Francis comments on Saints Anne and Joachim, saying, They were part of a long chain of people who had transmitted their faith and love for God, expressed in the warmth and love of family life, down to Mary, who received the Son of God in her womb, and who gave him to the world, to us. How precious is the family as the privileged place for transmitting the faith. So, let us ask ourselves again, whose spiritual children do we choose to be? Will we be children of the kingdom, or will we be children of the evil one? We make our decision by the seeds that we sow. In other words, what example will we set for our spouses, for our children, for our friends and co-workers? Through God's grace, our words and actions can sow the seed of good fruit, just like the words and actions of Saints Anne and Joachim did. That is what God calls each of his children to do, to sow good seeds, to bear fruit in the world through our virtuous words and actions, so that others may come to know him and to love him. Let the name of Jesus be praised, both now and forever. Amen. Today for our general intention, Let's pray for all young couples that they may be faithful in their love for one another. Let us pray for all parents that they may teach their children well the matters of faith and the goodness of God. And for all grandparents who have passed on the legacy of that love and family care gathering all of our prayers, those in our hearts, those that we have mentioned. We address the one who loves us the most as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, Grant through the prayers of both of them that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thanks so much for joining us in prayer today. Again, happy anniversary to Anthony and Shannon. May God continue to bless you in your marriage and as good parents to AJ. Brothers and sisters, take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.